Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to put a VPN on your Xbox or PS4. Or, or I guess Nintendo Switch theoretically. So this setup will need a computer, an Ethernet cable, and a VPN. If you don't have an Ethernet cable, I, mean, I could also make a second video to show how to do all of this wirelessly. But for now, for this setup, you're going to need those three things. And in addition, what I highly recommend, which will help reduce latency, is a USB to Ethernet adapter and another ethernet cable. The whole idea of this setup is that your computer is going to be running a VPN and then you're going to transfer that connection to your Xbox or PS4. In this setup, you, your computer will have to be connected to your Xbox through an ethernet cable. And since most computers only have one ethernet uh, port, that means there's no space for you to connect the computer to the router. With an ethernet to USB adapter, you can connect both the computer to the router and the computer to the Xbox. You only need to connect the computer to the Xbox or PS4, but it'll help a lot with latency if you're able to connect to the router directly wired. So that's what the setup is, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the first step you wanna do, I'm gonna assume you're on Windows, but I'm sure there's a Mac equivalent to do this. Go to your control panel. Network and internet. Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, and here we are. This is going to show every type of connection you have to your computer. It's going to show if you're connected to your Wi-Fi, if you're connected to Ethernet to your router, if, if you have your Xbox or PS4 connected to your computer. Everything is going to show up here. First thing you got to do in every type of connection that you have, disable IPv6. So I'm connecting my computer to my router for internet. So I'm going to right click properties, disable IPv6 on your VPN, which you can tell it's your VPN by at the bottom tap Windows Adapter 9. That's my hotspot shield VPN, Windscribe VPN, that, that's self-explanatory. On your VPN, right click properties, disable IPv6, and finally, on the connection between your console and your computer right click properties disable IPv6 that's all very important there's a good chance if, if the setup doesn't work that IPv6 is in the way so anyway now that we have that you right click your VPN connection properties sharing allow other network users to connect through this computer connection Make sure both of these boxes are checked and click in the drop down the connection between your console and your computer. USB Ethernet adapter is that's that's it for me. So I'm gonna click OK. If you need to, maybe restart your VPN. And once you do this, you should be good. If you log on to your console and uh, you search up on your browser what is my IP, it should be the IP that your VPN is using and not your real IP. So it really is that simple. Let me just clarify again one more time what you gotta do. With an ethernet cable, connect your console to your computer and, and in your uh, network adapter settings that I just showed, you share the VPN connection uh, to your console. And it, that's the basis of how you do it. Something to think about though, is which VPN you're using because some of them will create a strict NAT type, some of them have a moderate NAT type. Uh, with the Windscribe VPN, you could actually port forward, which you, which can get you an open NAT type. But uh, try to choose one that has uh, a moderate NAT type at least, because strict is, is gonna, I mean, it's in the name, it's gonna restrict you from what you can do, especially in terms of matchmaking. So with this setup, if someone were to pull your IP through a game, or a party and they boot you what you can do you just restart the VPN and you're back online in a minute so hopefully this video is helpful if something's not working for you leave a comment and I'm gonna see what I can do if this video was helpful uh, please leave a like and subscribe